Hey guys, how you doing? Challenge here. We've got some more Halo 4 information for you today, as always. Basically, the Halo Waypoint Bulletin has just come out an hour ago, and some information has been included in it, but there isn't an awful lot in there. But what we can pick out is details and mechanics about the new gun that's going to be in Halo 4, and that's called the Railgun. Now, when we heard about the Railgun a few months back, we knew straight away that it was going to be a Gorse adaptation and use the Gorse style technology. And if you don't know what a Gorse is, it was a, a turret that went onto the back of a Warthog in previous Halos and it shot a, I think it's described as a magnetic beam or uses magnetic technology to fire a bullet. Now, the bulletin post has the core mechanics of the gun within that wall of text and this video is going to point them out for you so you can understand what the railgun will be like in Halo 4. Of course they do mention that the gun can change and is subject to change before the game's final release so do not be too gutted or too surprised when the game comes out and this gun will be nothing like I'm about to describe to you because the game is kind of still in beta but well it's a pre it's a pre-release game isn't it so don't get your hopes up if you love the details on this. First of all, we've got the fact that the gun has no scope. This means it's not a long-range weapon, so you can't go sniping people across the map, and this isn't going to be a new sniper-style gun like the NG rifle in Halo Reach. So that's a good thing, so it's going to be a close-range to medium-range infantry gun. This gun does actually have a charge, such like the Spartan Laser, but it isn't nowhere near as long as a Spartan Laser. They've described it at the moment, its current form, that it has half the charge time of a Spartan Laser, and it has various audio cues of when it's about to launch. They've really emphasised that this gun isn't an anti-vehicle gun at all, and instead it acts more like a boom shot to vehicles, in that it can use the physics engine to knock them back. So, much like the boom shot in Halo 3, when you shoot a warthog it goes flying, this gun will be used in that fashion, and it won't necessarily be used to take down vehicles. Instead, they've really emphasised that this is an infantry gun, and to further that point, they say that this gun is a one-shot kill in its current build. So, you've got a little bit of a charge time, and you've got a one-shot kill, so accuracy counts, and... This gun could be a very, very powerful and lethal gun, much maybe to the standards of the rocket launcher. Now, as far as the projectile goes, it does have airtime, but they've said that it's nowhere near as long as the rocket launcher. They've described it as somewhere between a the launcher, rocket launcher, and the laser. So, I reckon it'll be about the same speed as the Gorse Cannon. It may be a little bit slower, so you can't shoot people completely across the map. But it'll be very similar to that, so just think of that when you're... When you're trying to imagine what this weapon's like. So unfortunately that's all the real information we get from this week's Halo Bulletin. And it kind of furthers the point that they're building up for a massive release of information at E3 2012. Which of course is what I'm going to be following. As always providing you guys with Halo 4 news, scouring the internet and all that good stuff. Now if you want to hear about Halo 4 news first then be sure to subscribe. If you like the video please leave a like. And you have all been legends. Why not become a legend? Thanks for you very much. Yeah.